Welcome to Real World AIP. I'm Stacy, and today I'm going to show you a couple of things you can do with green plantains. So I'm going to make some in my instant pot, like easy and fast as imaginable. And then I'm also going to make plantain gnocchi. I'm sure you've all seen the plantain pizza crusts, which I've made. I didn't love it. Um, your mileage may vary. I do enjoy the, the, the gnocchi. So first things first, we're going to have to chop the plantain. There is very minimal prep involved the way I do these. Um, two of these I'm going to make the gnocchi with. These three I'm just going to show you my fast easy method. So basically I cut off the ends and then I cut right down just just like just like an eighth of an inch in. So just want to cut down on either side. After these cook it's going to fall right out of the skin. And then last, I'm just gonna cut these in thirds. So yeah, these are ready to go. I'm gonna put the silicone steaming basket in my instant pot, because I don't like them to be sitting in water. Let's put one cup of water. And I'm just gonna throw in these plantains. These are ready to pressure cook. And I would just stop here, except that I'm also going to be making the gnocchi and I'm gonna run them together. Now for the gnocchi, we are going to have to remove these from the skin. First I cut the ends off, then I cut it in half with a little coring knife and cut as much of the plantain skin off while saving as much of the flesh as you can. So I'm gonna strip the thyme off of the stem Put it right into the little ninja cup. Some on the counter and floor too. <laughs> or take your dried herb jar and shake it in there, which is probably a whole lot easier. Marjoram, fresh parsley, chives, garlic cloves. I'll do like a fourth a teaspoon of salt. We just chop these plantain bits up just a little bit more. To this, we want to add extra virgin olive oil. I'd say that was probably like a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons. There's gonna be a lot of this going on. Ooh, you can already see the makings of a dough. dough. <laughs> that in our parchment paper, like so. Let's see what happens. I'm going to stick this into the Instant Pot. I like to put my plantains in the Instant Pot because pressure cooking them reduces the lectin content, which is an anti-nutrient that I am sensitive to. A lot of people are. They don't even know it. So if you have digestive issues, you might want to look into lectins. Steve Gundry's Plant Paradox is awesome. I'm going to lay our parchment paper gnocchis, future gnocchis, right over these other plantains that we're going to be cooking. Now we're just going to put the lid on there. I love the little noise it makes. When you... And we're going to go manual. Let's start with 20 minutes. I think that'll be good. See what we got. We're gonna take out the gnocchi. Check those out in a second. What I really want, can't wait to show you is how easy these plantains come out of the skin. Ha, huh, beautiful. Look at that. Perfect plantain. No wrestling, peeling, it comes right off. What we're gonna do is stick these in the fridge so that they um, harden up a little and then we're going to make rice with them. Do you see how that molded to the shape of the parchment paper? You see this, right? So this is only going to get firmer as it cools. We'll cut this into gnocchi sized pieces. 
Look at these perfect little gnocchi squares. And there you have it. These can be sautéed in, look at that, you can see the bouncy texture. Um, it's got that dense, chewy, gnocchi-like mouthfeel. It does everything you'd want gnocchi to do. You can make a nice garlicky olive oil sauce and toss this in there with some parsley and it'll just be out of this world. You could also make a batch of nomato sauce. You're limited only by your imagination. I'd love to hear what you do with your gnocchis. So here are our peeled cooked plantains. They've been in the fridge, so they're nice and firm now. <laughs> Very firm. To make plantain rice, all you do is you throw the cooked cold plantain in the Ninja. Notice I never use that disc blade. It's annoying, it's, it's a lot of work to me. I just, if it can't be done with this, I'm probably not gonna make it. It's important to pulse this one. You don't wanna just keep going or you're gonna end up with like some kind of dough. <laughs> which is hard to do when your ninja's broken and you have to stick something in there to make the little thing click so it'll turn on because it's refurbished. If anyone wants to buy me a ninja, I'll love you forever. <laughs> Looks like rice to me. You have plantain rice. This is like, it'll do anything you want rice to do. You want to make a paella, you want to make rice pudding with your coconut milk, you want to just have it with some, you know, meat and put some olive oil and herbs in it. Whatever you do with rice, here you go. Plantain rice. I hope you enjoy your plantain rice and plantain gnocchis as much as I do. And if you found this video helpful, you might want to subscribe down below because I put new videos out every Thursday. Also, if you have any comments, questions, ideas for future videos, please comment below. Hopefully I will see you soon and until then, be healthy.